Aston Martin has become synonymous with James Bond, but when this Vantage was first launched, Piers Brosnan was still 007, and I think we can all agree the world's moved on to a better place now. It may be ageing like our favourite British super spy, but does the Vantage still have a licence to thrill? It may have been around since 2003, but it's gone through more makeovers than a Kardashian. The latest is this, the Vantage GT. It's basically one step up from the entry level V8 Vantage. So it still has the same 4.7 litre V8, but this one's pumping out 321 kilowatts and 490 newton metres. They're nice numbers and it's not exactly a slow car, but what really impresses about the Vantage is not so much the power the engine makes, or the noise. Listen to that! It just sounds awesome. It sounds, quite frankly, like it looks. It's a beautiful car and it makes a beautiful noise. Unfortunately though, there are some areas where the car shows its age and one of the most notable is the transmission. Aston Martin calls it a sport shift. I call it a dreaded robotized manual. It's no secret I'm not a fan of these transmissions, it's because they're just really clunky. Leave it in drive mode and around town it just sort of clunks from one gear to the next. There's no smoothness like you get in a traditional automatic. But also when you get moving and you're on the, on the fly, it lacks the precision that you get in a modern dual clutch. So it's sort of the worst of both worlds, which is unfortunate because this engine deserves a better transmission. There are a couple of other odd little things about the car that shows off its age. The handbrake, for example, is down here next to my right leg, and it means you've got to pull it up and down to get rid of it, which is a bit old school in this modern age of electronic handbrakes. The interior has been refreshed too. It's got this new center fascia here, which has these haptic buttons, which are a bit more modern than what you expect in a, really, in a luxury car. These certainly don't feel like they're 12 years old, so that's a big plus for the car. Of course, that's all well and good, but does it really handle like a sports car? It's okay. It's not changing my world like a McLaren or a Porsche, but it feels like a pretty sharp GT car. But really what makes the Vantage so appealing is not how it drives, but how it looks. It may be more than a decade old, but this is still one of the most attractive sports cars on the market. At over $235,000, the Vantage GT isn't cheap, especially when you consider the 404 kilowatt Jaguar F-Type R Coupe costs just over 226, and a Porsche 911 starts at just under 210,000. And that is where the Vantage starts to make less sense. Like Bond, it faces new competition from younger, more dynamic rivals. But for some, a car like the Vantage will remain a timeless icon, just like 007. Thank you.